you guys. It is your girl Kia Viola in the building. I'll bring your screen. And today we have a little chit chat. Okay, we have a little chit chat talk talk because the way the internet is set up, they will tell the truth about a person in a second, won't they? They will. Y'all, I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like we are living in the generation where it is so crucial to become famous that people are literally doing any and everything to get there. Like, <laughs> values and standards, what are those? That's pretty much the way it is. I literally watched a girl talking about some, I, I won't even do the song. Y'all didn't already heard it. I'm not going to give her no more, you know, clout, okay? But y'all already know, y'all heard that song talking about looking all special. Child, she is over there pretending to have Down syndrome pretending when does too far become too far because that is out of reach where i am going to try to get fame by pretending to have a serious disability that people are dealing with and and facing that 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 takes a special kind of person to do it i feel like you might have a mental issue but it, listen i don't know what that's about i have no clue what that's about and then i saw another lady who was um, doing living in her car vlogs. I actually love those, y'all. Am I the only one that love a good living in my car vlog? I couldn't do it in my head. I could do it for 24 hours. <laughs> I could do it maybe even for a week, but after a week, I won't go home. I won't go home to my bed unless you got like a bus or something with some comfort, but y'all be really just in your basic car, your little Toyota Cadillac. Listen, just talk about, well, I'm asleep here tonight. We parking at the Wally World. No, I get it. Some people do it based off of necessity. Listen, but if you just doing it for, for, for clout and for views, I'm like, but why? Why? I prefer to be indoors inside of a house with walls that protect me. You know what I mean? That's just how that's just how I do it. But I absolutely love to watch people who are legitimately doing it. However, how do you know if something is real or fake on the internet now? Like you really have to do some detective work, know that person's family, know that person individually. Because I literally um watched a girl and it's come out that she's really a little cuckoo for cocoa bus and she has been pretending to live in her car in order to get views and subscribers and sponsorships and how do you live with yourself <laughs> how listen i understand that you can make a lot of money on these platforms which is starting to make people do very disgraceful things i i, I understand that part but at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself. And I can't live with myself pretending to be this fake individual for likes or lying about my conditions or lying about my living arrangements in order to get people sympathy and pretty much scam people. That's what they were calling her. They were calling her a scammer because she was literally just like, I need help. People help the whole time. You know, she just getting in her car, driving to and from work, acting like she, <laughs> acting like she been in there all day, and then going in her house like we do every night. How does this work? How? And it's crazy because when you think of social media and stuff, it seems like the more crazier, or the more crazier things you do, not the more crazier you are, well, maybe even that too, the more crazier you are, the more crazy thing you do, the more subscribers you get, the more views you get, the more popularity you get, the more famous you get. And those aren't necessarily the people that need fame. I feel like, listen, we are giving certain people platforms that, you know, it's good. They can take care of their family. They can do what they need to do. But there are some other parts to it that's messing with their mental space. And that's when it becomes a problem. That's when it becomes a problem. It was funny. Uh, no lie. I even asked my mama. I was like, what can I do on YouTube that is, you know, something that'll get views, but won't bring disgrace to the family? <laughs> I will never bring my family on a, listen, what is it? What is it that I could do that is borderline? Because listen, at the end of the day, I feel like we all want to be seen. I think that's what the main part of YouTube and Instagram and all this stuff, we all want to be seen. We all want to be 
acknowledged for being on this earth. That's what it is, point blank in the period. Now, we want to be seen and we also want to get our money, our money in them pockets filled. And we're noticing that the more, you know, things you do, the crazier, the more, you know, people see you, the more opportunities come. But listen, me personally, I don't want to have to be super crazy in order to get opportunities. I don't want to have to put my standards and my morals and my family's all I have risk. You know what I mean? Like, it's just certain things I would not do for the sake of fame. And then at the end of the day, like, I even, like, watch the people who do have, like, large subscribers and, and large, you know, uh, platforms and honestly, they be seeming really sad. Like, they be feeling really lonely. Like, if I ever got a big platform, listen, first thing first, I feel like my parents is always going to knock me down to space. My family always going to be like, girl, your bridges ain't that big. You put your pants on the same way I do. <laughs> I know for a fact they get that look. Who she thinks she is? Who she talking to? I don't care if she bought me this house. Nah, little girl. Nah, little girl, listen, that's the thing about being the baby sister. You will always be little girl. <laughs> I love it, though. Listen, go ahead and little girl me all day. Put me in my place. Nah, I'm just playing, but go ahead and little girl me all day. It's so cute the way that, listen, what am I supposed to say? Like, she's just saying it's so cute. And I just be like, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> A 30-year-old woman. And she say, hey, little girl. And I really go back to be a little girl. Listen. Hey, hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm so silly. But yeah, I feel like they would always knock me down to space. You know what I mean? And not everybody has that core support. You know what I mean? I hate that that is how it is for some people. But I feel like because of that, they are willing to risk it all and do a bunch of crazy things and say whatever and do whatever um, for clout and views and money. And it's really sad to see the big YouTubers like make it and they just literally like be by themselves. Like in real life, they don't be having no friends. They don't be having no family support. Like that's, that's terrible. And that's like real famous people too. But at the same time, I'm, it's starting to get to a point of a little blurred line. <laughs> the lines are getting muddy. Muddy waters is happening when it comes to the term of fame. What makes you famous because back in the day it used to be you were famous because of talent now you can just be like look what came in the mail today all day long with no other talents and abilities other than shopping and now you're famous not to say anything's wrong with that but like i thought fame kind of had a purpose to some degree in terms of using your talents and abilities now i get it you're using your your talents to be able to sell but a lot of people can sell so listen, where where's the lines? What makes you famous and just famous? <laughs> it's a talent. Yeah, listen, this is really a topic I'm interested in. Let me know. What do you think makes people famous? What is fame at this point other than just being known for anything? Anything. It's no longer talent. It's anything. Oh, she dug up her nose and flung the booger on camera. Fame. Like... That's really nasty. Please nobody do that. Listen, don't let me give you any ideas. Because I picture that and I the demonstration I just showed y'all. Listen, don't let that get famous. <laughs> nobody make a meme of that. I did not think of my nose. And I really didn't fling no boogers. But it seems like that's all you have to do now. And you'll get famous. <laughs> it's not even a good thing. It's a bad thing. That little hiccup I just had. Y'all heard that? That wasn't my laugh. That was a little hiccup in between there. But yeah, so what makes fame fame? And what is the border for fame? What are we going to just be like, yeah, no, cut that. You know what I mean? Like if I find out you're pretending to be disabled and you're not, that right there should just be like, all right, we finna cut it. Like, take our channel away, do this. Listen, I understand she got a family she trying to feed and all this other stuff. This isn't the way you do it. Where are the morals? Do we not care anymore? Because it looks like we don't. It looks like a lot of people are just like, oh, that's so crazy. That's nasty. Share, 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 share. Follow, follow, follow. Like, <laughs> bro, the most craziest thing could happen and people would be like, look at this. 
we share it. And the next thing we know, we've just made somebody millions of dollars off of stupidity. It's interesting. Meanwhile, there's people out here with actual talent, gifts, and abilities, and they're just being slept on. Like, it don't make sense. Like, how does this work? But yeah, that was just on my mind. I just can't believe people are out here pretending in such a harsh way to get views and clout and fame and just don't care who they disgracing. Don't care who they looking bad at. Don't care about morals. Don't care about their civic duty. <laughs> don't care about none of that. It's just, it's just going with the wind. Just do the most stupidest thing and become a millionaire. That's crazy. That blows my mind. So yeah, that's my little chit chat for today. What do you think? Let me know. Leave me something in the comment section. How you feel about the topic? Did y'all hear about the girl pretending to be disabled? Y'all hear about the girl pretending to be homeless? When it's real homeless people out here, that she's scamming. Listen, I couldn't do it per se, but I mean, apparently you do what you do for fame, I guess. All right, that's my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later as always. Bye.